So if you have the sacral defined, you're automatically a generator. Okay, the sacral is the center just above the root from the bottom, right? So that center is mechanical and it is about energy as well. So it's mechanical and energy. It is not a place of awareness. So it's really interesting because generators, we have this like sacral response, right? We know that we are meant to have life come to us and then respond from this either sacral or solar plexus. But even if you are solar plexus authority and you have the sacral defined, Yes, you listen to your solar plexus energy, but the sacral is also going to be communicating to you. And the way I think about it, it's kind of like that breath, right? We just talked about the spleen, which is that instinct, super fast, lightning fast information. And the sacral is, is still in the moment, but it's like in that breath, it's like slightly slower, but it's processing whether or not you have the energy to do whatever it is that's coming in from the outside of you. And if it's going to bring you satisfaction, that's why it's communicating to you. Is this correct or is it not correct? So we look at it like the engine or the motor of the vehicle. It either turns over, right? Like it goes, uh-huh, and it turns on and your whole vehicle lights up and it feels good um, and you have the energy to do it. Or it's not turning over. And this could either be the hell no, or it could be that hesitation, like, yeah, it sounds good, but I'm not really feeling it. Those are the ones you have to look out for and make sure that you're not making mental decisions when your engine isn't turning over, right? So everyone else, projectors, manifestors, and reflectors have the sacral undefined. We are living in a sacral world, right? The majority of the world are generators. So we are pumping out either frustration or satisfaction. It's like this buzz. They call it like the generator buzz. And it really is the center of vitality, life force energy, chi, uh, all of these terms that we've heard throughout different philosophies and studies. But really, it's the mechanical aspect of reproduction of your ovaries and the testes and, and just really producing life. Okay, so that's what generators are are here to do is produce that life force energy could be in children. It could be in your work, all of that. And you're either generating or degenerating. So a lot of times when we talk to generators and we try to explain the sacral, it's really about reawakening this aspect that a lot of times we have ignored, right? It's our body consciousness that doesn't have a reason, right? We cannot articulate the the reason why we're deciding to do something i don't know it's just my body's saying yes i'm gonna do this right or i don't know why it's saying no it sounds good but like i just can't I'm right thinking now. of whenever you eat something but you're not really sure you want it and then yeah you look afterwards sure yeah that but it would be like taking on some kind of commitment that you're like ugh afterward yeah yeah Your body exactly. knows that that's kind of crazy mm -hmm. Yep. And when I talk to people and I say, Hey, look, practice with your strategy and authority for at least like a certain limited time, right? Like, okay, we're going to do it for a month really radically and embrace that as best we can. Um, I talk about food, right. And how you can even practice with your food choices. This is a good way to gauge even where you're at with following your authority. Someone might come up to you and be like, Hey, try this. You don't really want to try it, but like, you kind of feel like, okay, I want to, it's expected to share in this moment. I don't want to be rude or whatever it is. Stick with your nose, right? Are you someone who can be talked into something, right? You're not connected to your authority, whatever it is, especially with sacral generators. It's important that we don't try to explain why or why not, because that's what comes in in this world, right? You come out of your mother and you, you start with the oohs and the ahs, the goo-goo gagas, right? And then we start getting trained to explain ourselves. But why don't you want to do this? You should do this. And so we get into this habit of mentally trying to explain why we're doing things, but the sacral has no access to the mind. So we literally cannot. All we can say is it's not part of my process right now. Thank you so much. Not now. You know, just I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it's a no. It just is. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. So being comfortable with saying no, 
even if it's something that seems like meaningless, like you're out and about and your friend sees you and they're like, Hey, do you want to come over for dinner? And you're like, uh, like that first hesitation was your sacral, right? But now your mind might be like, Oh, I haven't seen him in a while. And it goes into all of these things. And the more we get in tune with this, we're going to see that the sacral it's indicating if you have that energy and indicating if you're going to be fulfilled and satisfied with whatever that process is, or if it's going to bring you frustration, but more importantly, it's going to help you to know who you are, because that's what generators are here for. We're here to know ourselves. If it's undefined, okay, you're receiving that generator buzz that's on the planet. So it's important that you understand this because your sacral center is just receiving all of this energy, life force energy, the energy and ability to do work that's not yours right? So you might think you have to be a generator, meaning you have to work 40 plus hours a week. You've got to overdo things, right? So you want to ask yourself, where am I out of balance? You're here to learn how to balance things. That's why you have it open. You see where there's too much energy over here, not enough there. And on a planetary level, the ones with the undefined sacrals are helping to distribute this energy and resources. So you want to understand that this sacral, because it's receiving all this information, that you have to take a break from that constant bombardment of energy and let your sacral clear out. So you need to go to bed before you're tired. Anyone who has an undefined sacral, don't like work yourself to the point of just like exhaustion and then go to bed. You want to, you know, rest before you're tired. You have to like wind down before you go to bed, hopefully you're sleeping alone. And that's really important. And then generators, we are designed to work until like complete exhaustion where we, at the end of the day, just crash into the bed, right? So we've used up our energy, we feel uh, fulfilled and satisfied, but we, we can really just kind of like fall over into the bed and now we're going to sleep. And that's another important aspect of this. The sacral is really all about receptivity. So all those gates in there, it's showing us when we uh, respond to life, right, through receptivity, that we're going to get to be able to use our energy in a satisfying way. So let's talk about the defined. Again, you're either a generator and you might also be a manifesting generator, but you're, all, you're still a generator first and foremost. Generators are designed to work. Make sure you go back and watch that generator course. We talked all about that. But the healthy way is patient and waiting, right? You're in tune with the flow of your life. The sacral is a lot about rhythm, okay? It's like pulsing that buzz out and we're building this um, battery, right? The more things that we do that are generating our satisfaction, we're building up this power, right? Or like I said, it's degenerating and then we're having health problems. So you're in tune with that flow. You're responding to life moment to moment. You love the work that you do. You're feeling satisfied at the end of the day, never initiating or making decisions from the mind. And you're allowing your life to flow through you. If it's unhealthy and you have this defined, you might feel exhausted and frustrated in your life and work. You're not happy. You're not satisfied. You're listening to your mind living the life of they think I should have done this. I should have done that. I'm not trusting your life process, battling with yourself as to what you should do versus what you want to do. Allowing others to talk you into stuff and feeling like a slave, right? Because this sacral motor is so powerful. This engine, you know, it's, it's something that is the only one that's here to create these living systems on the planet. So if you're using that for something that's not for you and, and correct for you, you know, you're becoming like a slave and uh, not feeling very good. The undefined people, right? If it's undefined, you can be overcommitting, being overzealous. You know, you want to maybe overmanage instead of doing all of that. Okay. You're feeling out of balance. You are overdoing things, right? So you want to ask yourself, do I know when enough is enough? You may not be able to sustain a consistent workload, right? Because it's not consistent for you. And that's okay. We have to be okay with that. Don't compare yourselves to others, right? Not everyone is here to work like generators. And if you're not a generator and you're trying to be, you know, this is where we get all sorts of problems in your life. Also, you can be exhausted by other people's energy, 
right? So say a projector and a generator come together and that open sacral and that sacral is just pouring into it. There can be a lot of sparks and everyone's feeling energized. The projector is reflecting back that generator sacral and the generator is like, oh, it's just pouring into here. Might have a great sex life because that can be what it leads to. But really, it's like you can be exhausted if you're a projector. When they pull away, then they don't have it anymore. Is that what's happening? Yep. Or the thing is they might not pull away. Mm -hmm. So now they're like, oh, and we're staying up late and we're talking because everything feels good. And now the projector or manifestor, whoever it is, now is exhausted. Yeah. You know, you're, you're thinking you have energy, but it's not actually yours. So this you is know, really interesting because I've seen myself do that coming, coming with a lot of energy and a lot of momentum and a lot of um, just um, commitment, I guess, is just to, to go, 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 go. And then those around oh. me don't have it, but I didn't recognize, I thought it was a character flaw, you know, <laughs> like kind of thing. But since, you know, the last couple of years, I really started pulling back and realizing how I was using, I was almost like, like pushing my energy on others or um like mm. they were riding on it and it, it yep. was a friend about four years ago who told me that yeah yeah and that's the thing i mean it, it can be really great connection and communication and that's a beautiful thing but it, even if you are a generator and you know someone is not you know maybe you can help by like okay we're having a great conversation but now we need to like take a break you know, I've, I've had many late night conversations with projectors or things like that. And it can exhaust me too. I'm a generator, right? So even though we're feeling energized, then at the end, we're like, oh, okay, that was a lot. <laughs> is there anything more powerful? Like I'm thinking, I'm sure there is, but like a satisfied sacral, a satisfied generator is so powerful, right? Because oh. the, the flow is, is so effortless and yeah. there's, there's just so much ease and it's like, it's like this power, this power that comes in a very easeful way and just makes everything look so simple. Or so natural. Simple. Yeah. It's natural. That's the word. That's yeah. The word. Yeah, exactly. So that's the general well, that's in their authority. Yes. Yes, exactly. So if you are someone who has it undefined, you definitely want to take the time apart from people and kind of clear out that sacral, meaning you're resting. You're not trying to keep doing more because you really have to listen to your body because your body might be telling you that you're tired, but you're ignoring it, right? You're just trying to go, go, go because of whatever, probably comparison, like, oh, this is what people do in the world is they work 40 hours a week, but maybe you're a projector and you're not supposed to do that, right? You're not here to work, but you're working. I've seen so many undefined sacrals have problems with their reproductive organs, right? And that whole like life vitality, chi, energy when they're when they're trying to operate as a generator you might actually think that you're ill because you don't have enough energy when you need to rest more if you have an undefined sacral you need to make that a priority for sure sex addiction can also be part of that not resting right saying yes out of habit no boundaries working too hard just pushing through um, and still kind of becoming like a slave with energy that's not even available to you Oops, sorry, right. I have a question about the sex addiction. Is that mm -hmm. because they're pulling in that sex drive from around them? Right. The if you have an undefined sacral, then the sex is can be conditioned. It will be different ways with every person that you're you're interacting with. And so it can feel like there's inconsistency there, but it's also that like feeling that sacral energy and even the conditioning around having children, if you're undefined sacral. Is, is coming from conditioning probably of someone that has a sacral. <laughs> yeah, but we could talk about okay. the whole I just wanted to check that. That's a question that has come up about being, you know, completely open and being highly sexually driven. And it's like, is this even mine? Right. Are you someone that is pushing through and just grabbing a cup of coffee and just keep telling yourself, I need, just need to keep working and to keep going, even though your body is telling you otherwise, this is distortion and it's just going to hurt you pushing through when you're tired. And then the healthy way is that you don't feel pressured to be as productive as other people. You can just simply enjoy your life and work as a specialist for short periods of time. This is for the undefined people guiding others and you're relaxed. Okay. This is a key part of it. 
You know when enough is enough, you work in spurts, just a little bit here and there. You respect your energy levels and you don't try to take like stimulants or things to override what your body is telling you. And then you enjoy what you're taking in when you are around a generator. It's like, oh, this is interesting and different and you feel it, but you don't identify with it in a way that kind of takes you out of your own balance. And then you get to just observe the mysteries of life and, and following your strategy and authority. You remove yourself when you, when you need to. You know, I didn't, um, I don't think I realized the extent of the open sacral. I was just thinking it was the open centers. I didn't realize the sacral had that much power. To pull. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, especially because there's so many generators on the planet, you know, we used to live in a manifestor dominated world. Now we're in a generator dominated world. It's, it's a lot for sure. And the more we can educate the non-sacral beings about how to operate and how to use this in the, in a good way, then we can all be in our roles. You know, not everyone is here to work. So that should, <laughs> that should be helpful. <laughs> that's hard. Yeah. That's hard to accept, you know, especially mm -hmm. in this, um, in this world or this way, you know, in the coaching business, the entrepreneurial world and so much competition. And it used to be, you know, getting to six figures. Now it's getting to seven figures. Now it's, there's such a push for that, you know, mm -hmm. and making it as a personal defect if you don't do it. Right. Yep. And that's why when we talked about the ego and everything too, and the willpower and just this conditioning and programming and what Kim and I are, are bringing to you guys, it's just that like, it doesn't have to look how everyone else is doing it. Right. And so that's what your centers are going to communicate to you, like how it's going to work for you. Uh, and this stuff really works. So I hope that you practice with it and take it in and uh, just take one piece at a time that we're providing you and integrate it and have awareness because that's what it's all about is awareness.